when we do the study it is necessary to do the practical because in a IT industry without practical it is not possible to remember anything there is a multiple certifications are running by the CompTIA uh, like the network plus security plus server plus pen test plus CYSA plus and each every certification required a knowledge so where you will get the knowledge simply you can join any institution either you can read the book and you will get the knowledge but another thing is how you can do the hands-on so for the doing the hands-on you will have to requirement of the lab today we are going to discuss about the lab environment provided by the CompTIA so how it is the lab environment because uh, setting the lab on your own computer is very tough and not easy task because you can see this is the network plus lab this lab for the network plus CompTIA network plus certification so you can see here the uh, there is a six machines are required there is a DC 10 is a domain controller uh, my Windows Server 2016 MS 10 PC 10 SMB Samba server and here the lamp one is a babe, babe server another is a router okay so all these machines are available for you just very uh, just a minimal price for the one year accessibility so you can do practice again and again and do the hands-on whenever you require but the most thing is this is the assisted lab so you can see here this is the assisted lab what is the meaning of the assisted it will assist to you you can see everything is written here everything everything you just read it on tick on that like you have completed this task and once you will complete this task then you can move on for the example here the like this is the windows machine so here you can select the control alt delete if you want to uh, here you can direct, directly you can enter either there is a options are available control alt alt tab any key if you want to go press any key so here is a possibilities but otherwise fully screen fit screen and other options are here here is a options are available where you can change the virtual machine like this machine is a 10 machine and uh, this is the Linux machine you can see here this is the Linux machine so it is very easy you can access the any interface from this a particular location you can select the multiple uh, devices you can just change the device and log in on the device and then do the work whatever the required so here you can see this is the DC 10 machine and uh, also this is actually the password is given here you can see this is the password so you just enter the your password whatever means everything everything you will be guided that is the good point whatever exists and uh, like here the tools dscp server and this so what you can say here click on the tools and go in a dscp and inside the dscp there is a one configuration already exists so this is a simple you can just select and then uh, do whatever you like means whatever the instruction you will get you just open and then continue so once you will complete your labs uh, and the end of the labs there is a good options where you will find your comprehensive options okay and whenever you will run any command so you can do the score if you have completed your task so your score will be display here otherwise you will get such type of the error so that is very good things once you will uh, log in you can do and then you can check the your score time to time everywhere you will get the score and where you can uh, check your score your process has been done properly or not once you will complete here then you will find out there is a uh, comprehensive questions for the all modules all the labs related to the labs you will find at the end of the lab so you can do the your answer and uh, then you can select if your answer is correct so it will display here if your answer is 
uh, incorrect so you will get this type of the error so that is good things which is exist at the end of the lab i hope uh, you will like this uh, this demonstration if you really like this and you want to buy this lab so uh, this is available the link in a description box there is a two options are available one is a you can save or you can and end the live lab so once you will end the lab uh, you you will find all the options are here inside the lab you can see all the labs are there uh, if you want to go any labs simply just click on the lab and launch the lab the lab will be started